Hey guys, I'm Logan, and this is my explanation, my criteria, the way that I make my top tens. There's been a lot of questions um, about how I make my top tens, and uh, at the beginning of each series, I tend to let everybody know that. Um, I dig deep kind of into what I do, how I do things, um, and, and sometimes I get so far in shows, those questions just keep popping up and popping up and popping up, and instead of me always sitting on you know, the reaction and explaining how I do things. Um, I'm just going to make this video and this will be where I send people who are confused with how I make my top tens, how I do things um, with the top ten. Here we go. Uh, so, the top ten list is my list at the end of each episode. It's, it's just really a fun list that I do. Um, it has nothing to do with favorites. So cross that off immediately. Um, it is not a favorite character list. It will never be a favorite character list. Moving on to the next topic. Um, the kind of things that I look for in a top 10 list, every single character could be in it. Um, it will only be a top 10. So I'm not going to go from 10 to 15 or 10 to 20. It's just top 10. Um, the list really includes like what they bring to the story, what the characters bring to the story, the actions that the characters have, the decisions they make, the things they say, how good they are at what they do. That's what the top 10 list is about. That's what, that's how it works. Um, I, I throw this word around a lot, deserving. It's a deserving list. Uh, what does that mean? That means if somebody does one thing um, and it's better than somebody else, they have shown me that they deserve to be higher than that person. Um, it's it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's all about what people do in shows. Now, um, one of these things uh, that a lot of people get confused is what I see as one character bringing to the story or doing good, somebody else might not see. You know, it's, it, this is strictly my opinion. That's what this top ten is. It is strictly how I see things. So, I see things one way, somebody else is not going to see it the same way. Um, so that's what goes into this top ten. Now, I did a little, I did a little top ten list myself um, with my, uh, my roommates and some of the people I know. Um, this is not an accurate list, so roommates, if you're watching this, don't pay attention. The only thing accurate is the number one spot. Um, anyways, so say, uh, all right, Mr. James is just doing fantastic. So, so this is a this is a TV show, which it honestly could be. Um, James is just doing fantastic. He he's done so well that he's gotten up to the number two spot on the list. Um, and then Tommy over here. He's just, however, you know, what What James did was fantastic. He did amazing. It was one episode where he, he was just absolutely amazing. And um, he got up to number two, and then after that episode, he got locked up, or he got thrown in jail, or, or something. And he's not going to be in the show for four episodes or something like that. Um which is time for everybody else to potentially pass them if they do well enough. Tommy. Tommy, Tommy is like, okay, I'm going to make the most of uh, his absence, and I'm going to have a fantastic episode. Tommy passes Devin. So Tommy's like, okay, I'm going to keep this going. I'm going to have another fantastic episode. Tommy passes Alex. So Tommy's at three. And then Tommy has two more episodes where he's just fantastic. But... He stays here. Why does he stay there? Because he didn't do enough in that time, in my opinion, that was better than what he did in that short time. Um, so that's how that works. Um, I hope that makes sense. It made sense when I was saying it, which is rare sometimes. Um, so that's how people could not pass somebody on the list. Now, um, say the episodes are going along, you know, things are going down, 
everything's happening the way I see things um, always has a fantastic episode. Oh, oh the, here, this is a perfect example. Um, so the number one spot, which is me. He's just absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, slows down a little bit, which, you know, I probably won't do, but say we, I slow down a little bit. Um, everybody else compete like crazy. This is kind of the same um, thing as what I was talking about with, uh, with James. Um, but this is the number one spot. Just does absolutely amazing, and then completely doesn't do anything. People rising, rising, rising. How is this person still at number one if we go like five episodes, ten episodes, and they haven't really done anything crazy amazing? Well, that's because they've done enough to stay there. Um, sometimes we have episodes where stays, 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 stays. stays. How is it possible that everybody could stay in one spot after one episode? Well, to me, based on what I saw in that episode, didn't do enough to fall, didn't do enough to fall or rise, didn't do enough to fall or rise, didn't do enough to fall or rise, didn't do enough to fall or rise. So everybody stays the same, which in a top 10 is not rare. You know, it, it happens in any, you know, in sports and anything. Um, so that is kind of how my top 10 is seen. I highly encourage people to make their own list, to do it, you know, their way, you know, and comment like that, because I, I feel like the people who do that will be a lot more accepting of not only my list, but everybody else's list. Everybody's opinion is going to be different, and that's what this list is. It is a strictly opinion list. Um, it's not a favorite list, absolutely not at all, because say, say it's a favorite list, I have shows where my favorite is like 10 or not even on the list um, so I, I stick completely away from that bias part of it um, and just stay strictly on what they bring to the story the actions that they do the decisions that they make the things they say how good they are at what they do um, you know do they deserve it and it's all based on my opinion all of those things could be seen differently by somebody else so that is what my top 10 is about. Um, also, if I'm always sticking to like what everybody wants, what's the point of a top 10? You're going to know what's going to happen. Um, so that's my top 10. I hope, uh, I hope that clarifies everything. Um, if, you, if you're still confused by the end of this video, watch it again. Um, if you're still confused, I, there's nothing I can do. Um, I, I, I'm i sorry. I, I've explained this as well as I possibly can. Um, I even like, I sat down the other day and just like wrote down things uh, that go into my top 10 so I could have a better, you know, way of presenting it to everybody in this video. Um, I hope that worked out well. Hope everybody now is completely on board and understands what's going on. Um, Make your own top 10. I highly encourage it um, to help you join into the conversation. Now, you can come, you can um, question my top 10 as many times as you want. It's perfectly fine. Um, I make mistakes. I'm human. My top 10s are not perfect. Um, I'm not going to always have fantastic top 10s that are always on point. Um, I make mistakes. And, you know, I have made mistakes in the past, and I have let everybody know about the top 10 list. Hey, I made a mistake. Um, so keep an eye out for, you know, any of that. You don't have to, if I make a mistake, I'll let you know. Um, hope that was good. Hope that was enough. Um, like the video, comment, below, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I will see y'all in those reactions.